Hello to everyone. In this video, I am going to show you frequency, amplitude and phase response of rectangular and hemming window in MATLAB. So write certain commands, CLC, clear all, close all. These are basically the commands to clear the command window. After that, you need to take the value of capital M from the user. Capital M here refer to the length of the window. So write capital M equal to input enter the length of the window. After this, we're gonna plot the amplitude and phase response of rectangular window first. So write a comment response of rectangular window. So we are having rectvin command present in MATLAB for rectangular window. So write rectvin and inside that write capital M which is the length of window. Store this value in variable B. Now we're gonna make use of frigz command in order to plot its amplitude and phase response. frigz b comma a. Now after this, here b and a are basically the coefficient of polynomial of numerator and denominator. The value of a here will be equal to one because we are not having any denominator. So write a equal to one. This is basically the frigz command present in MATLAB. So for digital filter with numerator and denominator, polynomial coefficient stored in B and A respectively. This command is basically used for digital filters. So now enter the length of window 10 and here you can see amplitude and phase response of this input signal. After that, we're gonna make use of title command to write the title title rectangular window response now we're gonna see the title length of window is 10 here you can see the title on the top now after this we're gonna plot the amplitude and phase response of hamming window so write a comment hamming window response so this will be hamming not hanning Hamming window response. So we're gonna make use of Hamming command present in the MATLAB. Hamming capital M store the value in B1 variable. Now again, frigz uh, command will be used. Frigz B comma A. Here we are having B1, so write B1 comma A. After that, give a title. This will be our Hamming window response so now we are done we're gonna run it and see the output length of window 10 so you can see the phase and magnitude response of hamming window thanks for watching